Hey guys, what's up? It's Cedar Flags here, and today I want to review the one and only Gatekeeper at Cedar Point. When this coaster came out, it was the tallest, fastest, and longest wing coaster on Earth, and it used to have the highest inversion. And I want to give my thoughts on this ride. So I want to make this review as if you're at Cedar Point right now and about to go on Gatekeeper for the first time. So some days there's a long line, some days there's not, you know, it's a Cedar Point roller coaster, what do you expect? I had the fast lane, so I just got right in the fast lane line and waited like 20 minutes to get in front row. Gatekeeper is always the first ride I ride at Cedar Point just because it's right in the front of the park and it's kind of a wake me up to me. So you're in the station, and once you get on the wing coaster, you know, in the car, these restraints come down. Well, I mean, you have to push them down, but still, like, even other wing coasters and also Banshee and Valraven, these restraints are amazing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, these are the B&M vest restraints. So the ride starts, and you start going up the hill. You notice that the lift hill is actually pretty fast. One second you're on the ground, and the next second you're up, 170 feet in the air. You have a view of the causeway, it just looks pretty nice. Until you drop 170 feet. You go down the first drop, and then you go into the ride's second element, a huge inverting Immelman. Now this is one of my favorite inversions on any roller coaster just because it's right past the drop and it goes right into this inversion. You get amazing hang time on the first two inversions until you go down and you realize there's a hill. It, isn't, it doesn't really give you air time, it's kind of just a whoa hill, I guess. I mean a lot of coaster enthusiasts hate this hill just because, you know, they say it's a wannabe airtime hill. Next you have a giant corkscrew, and then you go right into the keyholes. This is the moment everyone's been waiting for. You go right into those near-miss elements, and it feels like your legs are about to get chopped off. After that, you go into a dive loop, as some coaster enthusiasts say, and then you go right next to the keyholes. It's another near-miss element, it's just not in the keyholes. It's so close to the keyholes that you do feel like your legs are about to get chopped off. In my opinion, this one's even scarier than the keyholes. So after that, you go into a mid-course brake run, and you kind of just pass through a little bit of, you know, slow helixes and hills. You know, it isn't the best part of the ride, but I mean, it is kind of the end of the ride, so, you know. But I mean, it really isn't that exciting. And I mean, a bunch of coaster enthusiasts say that the helix shouldn't be there. I personally think it should still be there just because, you know, it makes the ride longer, and it makes the ride have a longer duration. So the ride is over, you go into the brake run, and you're basically done. You go under the station, see your photos, go to the gift shop, and the ride's basically over. Well, I mean, it is over. <laughs> so, like all coaster enthusiasts say, it really isn't the most forceful ride, but in my opinion, it is still one of my favorite roller coasters. Because it's smooth, it has a lot of elements, and that first drop just really takes you away. Especially if it's the first ride of the day. So what am I going to rate this coaster? You know what I'm going to rate it? I'm going to rate it 9. It's not the perfect roller coaster, but it is definitely one of my favorites. I just love these elements, and I am a fan of Gatekeeper. Not because it's forceful, just remember that, but just because the overall experience is amazing, and you get great views of the rest of the park. What are your thoughts on Gatekeeper? Post them down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. This was Suter Flags, and I'm out. Ride on. Every coaster enthusiast says that at the end of their channel. What should I say? Mm, I don't know. Post that in the comments below, too. See you later.